Okay, just a quick tutorial on how to use uh, the new sheet that we've developed. It's an Excel sheet and it's got some calculations in the background. These are macros, so when you open it up, you're going to see this thing here security warning macros have been disabled. You need to click on that options and then enable this content. Okay. Now, what we've got is the food list of all the different foods that we've got and then we've got a recipe template so when it comes to starting a new recipe just click on here add a new recipe page okay so this is the page that we'll use recipe template to and we just leave this the template blank so then you can just rename that let's call it uh, way smoothie Okay, so start putting in our ingredients. So, whey is going to be our first one. So, there's a drop down here. So, we search for whey. And we're going to put some oats in. Uh, well, say we put in 45 grams of whey. Now, if you see over here, what it's doing is that it's calculating the ratios. So, we've got protein, carbs, and fat and you can set this here to change the level of protein that you're looking for so if you're looking for three grams per kilo four grams 3.5 2.5 whatever you just set that in so if we put it to two it's still going to be uh, setting that as the ratio and then what it does is adjusts the levels of the carbs and fat according to that so if we put in way strawberry then the next thing we're going to do is put in some oats because it's a, it's a muscle building whey smoothie so I just need to scroll up hopefully we'll get this set up so that if you put in start writing your notes it'll at least bring you to the start of the O's so you don't have to do so much scrolling so put in oats and we'll put in 50 grams okay so now you can see the level of carbs has actually gone up now so uh, flax seeds we're going to put in I'll just pause this a sec while I go through and add all the ingredients okay so I've put a few ingredients here so what we're then looking at is trying to get these ratios to match up so it does everything in relation to the protein so uh, you've got to have it set up so that it relates to one of those so uh, we've got 3, 2.76 and 0 0.9 so let's say we want to get that 2.76 up to 5 so two ways we can do it we can reduce the amount of weight let's see if we go down to 30 grams of weight okay 3.64 doesn't go up that much um, let's put in a few more oats put that up to 75 let's see what we get then okay 4.64 we'll get in there now uh, let's put in a few more berries 75 4.77 let's maybe reduce the cottage cheese down to 15 4.83 um, let's go this to 25 okay we're a bit high so let's go 30 stay at 30 and maybe reduce this up to 80 for the oats Okay, we're a little bit high on uh, flax on on fat, not too much, so we could leave it about that. So that's just how you can uh, manipulate it. So the thing to do is to either add more or less of the main product, which has got the protein in. So if that's chicken, you can add a bit more chicken, tuna, whatever, or if it's a carb you're wanting to reduce the number of then you add in more quinoa brown rice what have you okay so then you just save it and now when you save the document you need to save as an Excel macro enabled workbook and I'm saving this in the Dropbox and I'll call it 
number one. So I think what we should do is to, if you're working on a book or a series of recipes, just keep a version of your recipe. So it might be protein recipes or muscle building recipes, Japanese recipes, what have you. Okay, hope this helps.